In this video, I am going to teach you how to install and configure Moodle in your computer. To start, open your web browser. And enter www.moodle.org. Click download. Select the latest version displayed on the screen. Select Moodle installer package for Windows. Select and download the latest and stable version. Wait until the download is complete. Locate and extract the downloaded file. Wait until the extraction process is complete. After finishing the extraction, locate the folder and rename it to any name that you want. Just avoid using spaces in the folder name. Open the folder. Select Start Moodle and run it as administrator. This black window shows that our server is starting. Wait until it shows that Apache and MySQL are running. Now, open your web browser again. In a new tab, type localhost and hit enter. Wait until it completely loads. Select the language that you want to use and click next. This window shows our current web address and the location of our Moodle LMS. Click Next to continue. This shows default database settings. You can customize it or leave it as it is. Click Next to continue. Please wait until it saved the database settings. Read the copyright notice and click continue to confirm. Check if the status of all the files and plugins are OK. Just ignore this warning or error at the bottom and click continue. Wait patiently because it will take 5 to 10 minutes to load. But it also depends on the speed of your computer. It is now loading and checking all the files and plugins that are installed. Please wait until it finished. Just ignore this error or warning. Click continue to proceed.
Fill all the needed admin credentials. Enter a username. Remember, capital letters are not allowed. Enter your password. Please read the instruction above it. Enter the first name and surname that you want to appear on the system. And also your email ad. Enter your city or town. And select your country. Select your server time zone. I choose Asia Manila as my time zone. Click update profile to proceed. Enter the full site name and also its short name. Set the time zone, just the same as the previous one. Just leave the self-registration disabled. Set the no reply address to a valid email address. Or you can also use the previous one. And click save changes to finish. Now, our Moodle LMS is up and running. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next update of this series. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified with my latest videos and updates.